Good day, everyone. I am Carlos, myself and my partner, Lynn, would like to welcome you back to Farallo Realty. Unfortunately, she won't be joining us today, um, but we'll try to get her back on the mic as soon as possible. Okay, so welcome you back to our project, building a house in El Salvador virtually. So let's get to it because there is a lot to be said on this one. So this here is where the fireplace is being built. Okay, there's quite a story on this fireplace because uh, for us, it's going to be a very unique fireplace. Not to say that, that you know, no other fireplace. I think, that, well, actually all of the fireplaces are very unique. Uh, and so this one here more so because our story behind it is that the builder had never built one before so he couldn't grasp the concept as to why we needed a fireplace but there's more to it and it's coming up soon so what you're seeing right now is where the main area of the front porch is located so the five main columns are now have now been built and we're just now waiting or they're waiting um, for everyone for the workers to work on the front of the house the outside of the house the parging of the walls so you have the gentleman here on your right you see he is at, he's actually working on the fireplace okay and trust me <laughs> he and the builder have a lot of patience because it's it's the communication thing right and trying to convey what the objective is uh, regarding the, the the end result of the fireplace <laughs> so this is a look to the outside from the living room area okay uh, this is more you, you you can tell more or less what it's going to look like in the end the builder here was basically telling us you know like he didn't know he, he didn't like the way the uh, the columns were in the way of the view <laughs> so we we also have to have a chat with him about that it's a good chat don't get me wrong uh, we're we're as positive as as we can you know understanding that we're far away and we're trying to communicate with him you know via text and audios and things like that so here uh builder is telling us uh showing us the measurement of this uh, particular fireplace the design basically uh, was an idea from my partner Lynn okay she really loves herringbone okay which is also part of the story about this fireplace they never these guys had never done herringbone designs before so they they, they really couldn't understand like well, what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean design <laughs> So this is where Pinterest really came in handy, sending pictures and things like that. And, and then the actual design, we, we found a picture on Pinterest and that's where Lynn really liked it and we decided to go with it. So how did we do it? Well, how did we get to explain to the builder that this is what we want, right? Well, we did it this way. We actually uh, took a picture of the of the, uh, the the picture on Pinterest we agreed on measurements final design final touches and we sent this to the builder so this is what he had to work on okay okay so the gentleman here is um, working on the final touches of the parging of the interior walls this is the uh, principal bedroom okay on the previous uh, video, you did see that they were working on installing the main frame, the structural frame for the roof, okay? So that's all done. Now the gentlemen are working on um, uh, polishing the, uh, the, the walls. They have now added, it's, it's, it's cement, it's still concrete, but it's a fine mixture. And so here, uh, as you saw there, they have they work it with sponges uh, to get that fine fine um, feel to it right and there's no there won't be any uh, uh, divots or anything like that it's going to be oh we're hoping that it's going to be a very nice 
uh, end result and we, we trust them that it will. This is going to be the main open area. It's an open concept house uh, uh, where the living room and the kitchen uh, meet basically. So this is the uh, where the kitchen area is going to be. There are going to be two very large windows um, on, on at the end and, and I think it's very nice because we love natural light uh, inside interior in the interior of, the, of, of our homes and, and I think it's going to it's going to look good the size is really good this is the laundry room area okay not very big it's just big enough uh, for what we need it for two machines that's it the outside uh, as well as you can see it's being worked on a lot of parging going on and as you can tell I mean this is a lot of a lot of effort uh, if you've noticed there's quite a few gentlemen working on this project at this point the re reason being is that the parging alone takes time uh, that's a lot of area to to cover to prep it you know parge it uh, refine it uh, all that stuff right uh, this gentleman here is working on where what where the walkway is going to be okay so there it is there you have it uh, this all that area is the, the the back end of the house okay this is a living uh, bedroom on the right hand side that's where the window for the bathroom is a shared bathroom between the the two bedrooms on this side okay and this is the secondary or third, third bedroom right here. There, okay. Now it's still, you know, it's still quite messy. It's, it's well, hey, it's a construction area, right? But they're doing their best to, you know, uh, keep themselves organized. And so, yeah, that's how it is. Here, the builder is showing us where the septic tank is being built. Okay, almost done. Okay, it's a fairly large tank. You can see the gentleman down below. Okay, uh, working on the uh, compartment number two. Okay, of the septic system. The septic system was something that also we had quite on uh, the time explaining to the builder because in El Salvador, unless you actually live in the city or you have sewage systems, right, it's taken care of for you. However, even in the outskirts of the cities, you know, well, people uh, have to have something and their septic systems are quite different than what we have in North America, at the very least in Canada. I know that the U.S. and Canada pretty much have, I would say, the, the, the same type of system. Our intent uh, with the septic system is to try and avoid as much as possible contamination of the soil okay just like we do it here in, in Canada so therefore we wanted to build a system that is 100% similar to what we have here okay and I'll explain that in a second this was hard to to convey to the builder because well they just don't do them that way down there right good here's a quick example on how see the the young guy here is helping to parch the uh, one of the uh, the columns, okay. So um, that's a lot of material, okay. Um, so you have to be prepared for that. If you're thinking about building in El Salvador, well, it, there is a relative cost to it. Yes, it is still a lot more affordable than trying to do this type of project here in Canada uh, to do it in El Salvador. However, you know, you, you st there's still going to be a cost because this takes. A lot of material this is a lot of concrete a lot of sand and on top of that you know you have to consider the labor as well okay so the front of the house here you go okay open concept living room and kitchen area are gonna be right there um, so the very peak you can see on the right hand side right there uh, from uh, bottom to top it's up just just over I um, believe five meters 
okay? It's pretty high. It's high enough. The reason why we decided to go with that is because in the summertime, when it starts getting a little warm, remember that this is going to be a metal roof, okay? Um, we wanted to get whatever heat built up we get, uh, well, it'll rise. And so therefore, the areas down below are going to be uh, as cool as, you know, we can possibly get. This is a concrete structure as well. So that's going to help a lot. And, and also the thickness of the walls, the whole build will also help in maintaining the coolness within the house, okay? So there is a method to our madness. Okay, so here we're showing you what we sent the builder regarding the septic system. And you see the uh, red lines encircled by on the left hand, upper left hand side, the drainage area, okay? The main, uh, the main uh, box, the secondary box, and the drainage area. So we had to explain to him, and this is what we sent them, how the septic system works and what we want. And this is exactly how we want it, okay? Um, so it took some time to get him to actually understand. He took quite a few videos from YouTube as well. Uh, to show him, you know, uh, how to build it, how to uh, situate it, uh, and all those things. And as well, explain to him how the actual septic tank works, you know, and how it's built and all those things, as you can see here, okay? Because they had no idea. He couldn't understand as to, well, why do you need a drainage? <laughs> um, you know, he couldn't understand the partition between the two compartments, you know, and the fact that you need to build a, a, a baffle uh, in it as well, so that anything that goes from the primary to the secondary tank, you know, it, it's already separated and things like that. The, the second tank, and we'll show you here in a second, okay, um, it's what we call it a filtration tank okay so from the primary tank to the secondary compartment sorry once the uh, that uh, water comes out of there will go down and oh sorry here the uh, the builder lost his footing he's okay not a problem he regained uh, his composure and showed us this is what the uh, filter tank is gonna look like it's, uh, it's almost a meter in, 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 in width by just over a meter and a half in length, okay? This is going to be filled with one third um, gravel and charcoal. So therefore, when everything uh, from the secondary compartment is dra uh, uh, drains to the filter tank, it'll go through this sort of, you know, charcoal gravel filter before he heads out to the uh, uh, drainage field. So therefore, trying to avoid as much contamination as possible. And as you can see on the uh, main uh, septic tank, we're also going to be able to clean this out when feasible or whenever you know it has to be. So there you have it. So at this point in time, um, he's showing us that the uh, the platform the top platform for the uh, the tank is being built so yes it has a rebar cage it's going to be seven inches in thickness cement and rebar so there's not going to be any problems with anyone standing on a hill i mean you can probably even drive over this thing and nothing is going to happen okay and we made sure that he understood that and that's how we wanted it to, 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 to be built. Okay, so here, there's the tank again. And at this point in time, they have now poured the cement mix on it. So, and this is the main line coming in. Okay, and there you have it, okay. Is, it's a septic tank, okay. Uh, and it's a very, uh, it's a big enough tank, okay, with uh, a system that I think we, uh, I mean, we tried to get him to build it as practical as possible, 
uh, and efficient. Okay, that's the thing. There's only going to be basically uh, two of us uh, spending time there at any given time. Uh, so we're not really expecting to have to really deal with the septic tank or have any issues anytime soon. Okay, regardless, we will always keep an eye. Okay, so this is the main porch area. It's coming along nicely. As you can see, the front walls have now been parched. Not sure if they have already um, sanded or uh, you know applied plaster to it at this point in time, but it, it's coming nice. Okay, so the floors right now, this is this is what they're doing. So this is a mix of soil. It's actually white soil, okay, and cement. So they're getting their levels, okay, compacting this uh, this one layer of soil and cement, okay, and then the next thing that happens is they install a metal mesh. It's about a three sixteen uh, metal mesh, okay, which will lack sort of uh, like a rebar cage. To give it even more uh, structure, rigidness. Okay, so there is no chance of heaving or anything like that. Okay, there is the mesh on the uh, center, as you can see, the roll. Okay, here we go from the house coming nicely. By the way, that right hand side right there, that little shed, that's where four of them stay. Okay, during the weekends, for the most part. The terracing area. Okay, it's coming along nicely. As you can see, the grass is taking, the irrigation channels are in place, and there you have it. So this is the yeah, primary bedroom. The first layer of concrete and soil has it's 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 there. Okay, it's obviously dry. They're now putting the mesh in place and now it's going to be now there will be another uh is about a two inch layer of same thing concrete and uh white soil mix okay to get it uh get it uh, level again this oh well i guess i missed it that was the ensuite bedroom but we'll talk more about that uh, next time thank you very much for watching i promise i will have another video shortly um and hey, if you like this video, give us a like. We'll see you very soon. Take good care.